Labor Day weekend is approaching and millions across the country are getting ready to kickstart their long weekend today. 22 News reporter Heath Kalb is live in the studio and he spoke to travelers looking to beat this big holiday rush. Exactly, Alana. Most people don't start their long weekend t until tomorrow afternoon, but already airports and highways are seeing an influx of travelers looking to get to their destinations. Labor Day is the last chance to travel before summer ends for millions of Americans. And with Monday off of work, some travelers are beginning their weekend getaway a little early. We drove to Ithaca and we stayed all night and now we're going to go to Portsmouth and spend another night. And then we go off to Damascata and we go to Stonington, Maine. According to one study, 53% of Americans plan on doing some traveling over Labor Day weekend, many of whom by car. And so during the peak hours, the roads are expected to be congested. AAA says that Labor Day travel this year is returning to pre-pandemic levels and will be busier than the same weekend of 2022. And if you can, try to avoid the most crowded hours. The busiest day to drive off for a Labor Day trip is expected to be all day Friday. I spoke to one driver making his way to Cape Cod and initially left Thursday morning in hopes of missing that Friday traffic he has dreaded in years past. It just picks up, especially on the turnpike too. It gets really, really busy. But even when you get like past the turnpike and you get close to where you're going up to Boston, that's where it gets the worst, especially this time of year. Now, people must be listening to the great Brian Lapis because everyone I spoke to today said that this beautiful weather we're having and expecting this weekend is part of the motivation to travel. Working for you live in studio, I'm Heath Kalb, 22 News.